Hi there! Welcome back to Goni's channel. Being one of the best players in the squad of the Red Devils, Bruno Fernandez is in spotlight from the MU fans. Joining the team in January 2020, Bruno found it easy to prove his worth. It is not an exaggeration to say that he has revitalized the Red Devils midfield in recent matches. That's just a bit about his career. How about his life recently? Let's find out in this video. Bruno Fernandez was born to parents whom little is known about. His father was a footballer who left the sport in order to provide a better life for his family, while his mother is a fan of football, especially for FC Porto. Bruno grew up with a number of brothers and sisters. One of his brothers is Ricardo, who is also a professional football player. During childhood, Fernandez used to play football on the streets with his older brother. Bruno Fernandez met his wife Anna when they were classmates at the age of 16. After several years of dating, they got married in a ceremony which was attended by their family and friends. In his early days, when Bruno Fernandez had to leave Portugal for Italy, Anna decided to accompany him and help him achieve his goals which strengthened their relationship. The couple are blessed with two kids, a daughter, Matilde, born in 2017, and a son, Goncalo, born in 2020. Bruno Fernandez is said to be a family man. He often takes his wife to the supermarket and shopping in the weekends and takes his kids for outdoor activities. Mostly, go swimming whenever he has free time. Fernandez began his professional career at Italian Serie B side Navora, then joined Serie A side Udinese in 2013, followed by Sampdoria three years later. After five years in Italy, he signed with Sporting CP in 2017. Here, he won back-to-back -back Tacas de Liga in 2018 and 2019, as well as the Taca de Portugal, leading to him being named in the Primeira Liga Team of the Year and Primeira Liga Player of the Year in both seasons. In 2018-19, he scored a record of 33 goals in all competitions, making him the highest scoring Portuguese midfielder and the highest scoring midfielder in Europe in a single season. In January 2020, Manchester United signed him for an initial £55 million, making him the second highest fee for a Portuguese player leaving the domestic league. So far, he has been scoring 51 goals and 132 appearances for the club. As for his international level, Bruno Fernandes represented Portugal at the 2016 Summer Olympics. He made his senior international debut in 2017, being chosen in Portugal squads for the 2018 FIFA World Cup, 2019 UEFA Nations League Finals, and UEFA Euro 2020. As of 2022, his net worth is estimated at $55 million, which mainly comes from his football career. When Bruno joined Manchester United, he chose to live in a five-bedroom mansion in Worsley, Manchester. This is a single-family home. It sits on 6,700 square feet of land, surrounded by Woodland and Worsley Golf Club. There is a pristine kitchen, winding staircases, an indoor swimming pool, bar, and a cinema room on the ground floor. Upstairs, there are five bedrooms, each with an ensuite and its own wardrobe. It is only 15 minutes from Manchester City and close to the M602, M60, and M62 highways. The adolescent is tired about his personal life. He appears to be portrayed as a very down-to-earth person who does not take pride in his wealth. According to what we know, the young Portuguese international has four cars in his garage. The first car is Range Rover Sport, worth around $95,000. Despite receiving poor rating of reliability, its spacious design won a lot of drivers' hearts. 
It has a top speed of 130 miles per hour. Bruno Fernandez is often seen driving his car to pick up his daughter after school. The second car in his garage is Mini Cooper, which was bought at $30,000. This is the top car in low cost and is very good to ride. Mini Cooper will give a nice performance and will be maintained easier. Bruno often drives it around the town. The third car he owns is Porsche Cayenne, which was worth $70,000. This generation of Cayenne is solidly built and especially reliable. Any reported problems were usually put right under warranty, and within a week. Its top speed is 152 miles per hour. And the last one mentioned here is Mercedes AMG GLS, purchased at $150,000. This car has a range of powerful engines and handles well for its size. It also gets good gas mileage and rides comfortably, even over rough pavements. Bruno Fernandez has a strange penalty taking technique. There's no doubt that he is a penalty specialist, a reputation he owes to his somewhat academic approach to taking them. Like Chelsea's Jorinho, he jumps before striking a ball, a technique that confuses goalkeepers. As you know, Manchester is in Fernandez's DNA. Bruno has always been a United fan. His lifelong idol, Cristiano Ronaldo, might have in fact inspired the young Portuguese to become a supporter of United. Another fact about him is that number 8 is his lucky number. Since joining Manchester United, he's had number 18 on his jersey, but number 8 is the number he holds there to his heart. He even has it tattooed to his right arm. Bruno Fernandes adopted a golden retriever for several years. In free time, the family often have a walk with him. And that's all for the video today. Thanks for your watching and be sure to support us with a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye and see you in the next video.